welcome to another video. Shenzhen is a very young, vibrant and energetic city. As you can see around me, it never stops, it never sleeps. There are people everywhere, there's always something going on. And it can be a lot of fun, especially if you're a little younger, or if that's the kind of vibe you're looking for, there's always something to do here. But, every once in a while, it can really get to you, because the noise and the people never stop. I wonder if there's a place, somewhere green, where I could get back to nature. Whoa, 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 this isn't some kind of middle-of-the-day travel show, is it? This is Serpent ZA. Sorry, got a little carried away there. So, where am I? Well, I'm here at Wutong Mountain, or Wutong Shan as it's called over here, and it happens to be Shenzhen's tallest mountain. So why would you want to come here? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Well, first of all, like I said, it is the tallest mountain in Shenzhen, and it offers a pretty good hike. Well, okay, I'll be honest with you, you don't really come and hike here, you come here and you walk up the mountain, because the entire mountain is covered with roads and paths and staircases, so there's no real challenge to it. Don't, don't expect to be scrambling over rocks or climbing up or over anything. It's all laid out and paved for you with, you know, lovely little, little rest stops along the way. However, it definitely is a long walk and it's very steep, so it is going to give you a workout. And it is really nice with the added benefit that you can actually cycle up here. So if you're an avid cyclist, you can cycle all the way to Wutong Mountain and then actually cycle all the way up. That's if you're really into cycling, I guess. <clears throat> so once you've reached the summit and taken a look at all the breathtaking views and whatnot, you may be too tired to come back down. Well, don't fret too much because quite often you can catch a ride down in a private car. Now, you can't actually drive your own private car into Wutong Mountain, but the local residents who live within the mountain area, they are allowed to drive in. So a couple of them have a small little business. They'll drive up to the peak during busy times and uh, kind of give lifts down for a small fee so if you're too lazy you can always catch a ride down now of course it's not just the mountain that's the attraction here when you get down to the base there's a really nice village here the Dapang village which has been gentrified and actually quite nice there are art galleries and touristy kind of things and a bunch of restaurants where you can go and eat so there's a whole bunch of things to do there are places to go swimming and just walking around and well it's kind of interesting so Wutong Mountain is one of those places that you can really sort of get away from the city and just enjoy yourself when you've got a free moment however I am going to warn you about a couple of things number one try to come here during the week because if you come here during the weekends or on a holiday well you may as well stay in the city because all your fellow city dwellers are going to be out here trying to get away from the city with you so it'll be like Instead of walking up a mountain, you'll be queuing up a mountain, and uh, it's really not very pleasant. Number two, make sure you bring some kind of mosquito repellent or something like that, because there are tons of insects and wildlife around here, and you're definitely going to get bitten. <clears throat> Number three, bring lots of water, because Shenzhen summers are brutal. And I myself, carrying all this camera equipment up the mountain, almost died halfway because I ran out of water, and I was just sweating like you won't believe. 
Luckily, there are some enterprising folk who sort of take little cooler boxes up the mountain and you can be sure you'll find somebody selling some very overpriced water up here somewhere. So if you do run out of water, don't panic, you'll be able to find someone. Number four, be aware of traffic. It's a very popular destination, so if you come at a busy time, you will be stuck in traffic. Speaking of coming here, how do you actually get to Wutong Mountain? Well, it's fairly simple. There are a bunch of buses that you can take. There's plenty of parking so you can drive your private car here if you have one or if you've got a friend who can drive you here, that's great. And of course, my personal favorite, just take a taxi. It's not that expensive. Buses take about 45 minutes outside of uh, the middle of Shenzhen city. Taxis around about the same, 20 minutes to half an hour. It's not very far away from the Lohu area, which is nice. So it's a very quick getaway. So if you happen to be in Shenzhen and you want to get away from the crowds and you just want to go somewhere nice and get into nature, now you know where to go. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.